So in today's video, I'm going to do a first impressions and a review on this particular palette right here, which is called the Nudie Patootie from Laura Lee, Los Angeles. If you want to know my thoughts and opinions on this particular palette and the brand new makeup brushes as well from their new launch, keep watching and find out. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thanks for coming. I really appreciate it. So if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and while you're out at, ooh, I almost said the wrong word, and while you're at it, also hit that notification bell. So anytime I upload a new video, you'll automatically get the notifications. And while you're at it, go ahead and follow me also on my other social media platforms. That would be Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Christian Mingle, and Farmers Only at Truly MKE. What am I kidding? I'm not on Farmers Only. Duh. <laughs> so Laura Lee, Los Angeles, Los Angeles, oh my God, my stuttering. Laura Lee, Los Angeles is going to be releasing new makeup brushes. So I figured, you know what? What a better time than to try the patootie, nudie patootie palette. Oh my God, it's already starting. My words, I'm struggling here. Anyways, so I figured what a better time to review this particular palette and to have a little slight discussion about those new makeup brushes. Now, I'll include an image right now, so just in case if you haven't seen the actual brushes, but one thing that intrigued me, what she said during her recent um, YouTube video talking about the release of the new makeup brushes, is that she said that she's not using stock brushes. She's actually created these from like scratch to redesign them and blah 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 right there that hit me the right way and i'll explain why because there are companies that will take stock products take them put their name on those stock items and then sell it out to their consumers for me personally i'm starting to get really sick of that because you can get a lesser brand who has that same stock product and then end up selling it obviously a little bit cheaper than comparison to what someone else is selling it for I'm not going to mention names. There is a brand, an individual who recently sold some brushes that had like a pink crystal whatever handle on the bottom. I thought at first they were cute until I realized they were stock brushes. And then when I first applied them, they irritate my skin and then like the bristles were falling out. But anyways, I'm not trying to be shady. I'm just trying to say, okay, Laura Lee, I'm going to purchase them. I'm going to test them. I'm going to see if you're really telling the truth here because makeup brushes, you can tell when there's good quality. So anyways, let's just go ahead and get started on this review of the Nudie Patootie. Okay, so the first shade I went into, I went into this, I went into the first shade, Streaking, and I'm pretty much just using that as my, my base coat. You know, just to start off, a starting off point. The problem with these light color tones or this particular color, because it does look a little bit darker in the pan versus once you apply it actually on the lid. It was very light, so I couldn't tell exactly if I was putting quite a bit or too much of it. But either way, it's perfectly fine. It was, again, my base coat. So no biggie, right? Yeah, that's all right. So the next shade I went into is the shade Nakey Nakey, I believe it's pronounced, you know, Nakey Nakey. So pretty much I'm just using that in the outer corner of my eye. So if you notice, I was applying it right in the crease. And the reason for that, because I wanted to give it more of a soft, smoky look just right in that direction. So if you notice, I'm not really dragging the shadow um, color inwards, maybe just midpoint and then working it to the top to kind of just blend it out and soften up the look. So yeah, you see, I keep looking in the mirror. I don't know why, but I do. So the next shade in this particular palette, I went into the shade Barb. I believe it's called Barb, Bear, Boo, whatever, B-A-R-E. You get it, you know. Anyways, so I just apply that directly right on the lid of my eyelid. Wait, that's the same thing. Anyways, I apply that right on top of the eyelid itself. And I pretty much just use it right there. As you notice, I did not go over the last shade because I'm going to blend those out together. I didn't want to over soften the area where I just made it really nicely, softly dark, whatever. But and then I just pull it upward to kind of soften it out and blend it out. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that makes sense. I don't know. So the next shade I went to now, this is where I got a little frustrated. 
probably can see it on my face already. But I got frustrated because the shade that I went into was Jaybird. Jaybird is that particular rose metallic glitter type of color. So initially I went in there with a brush as you saw prior, but the brush was not picking up. So then I used one of those disposable lip liner, lipstick, whatever applicators. That didn't work either. So then I used my finger. Hmm, yeah, of course, finger works, but unfortunately, as I mentioned in one of my prior videos, when you use a finger, you sometimes overuse too much of the product, and I didn't want to do that. So, yeah, that was a little bit of a fail. But let me show you what I did next. So then I ended up getting one of those cheapy, cheapy little eyeshadow brushes that you usually get in cheap eyeshadow palettes. Now this I absolutely love in terms of this particular technique because if you don't want to use your finger then go in and use one of these little spongy I don't know applicators who knows whatever you call it but you get what I'm trying to say right I hope so. So you notice that the I was able to apply it a whole lot better and I had a lot more capability or you know where to apply the shadow itself and how I wanted to lay on my eyelid. Does that make any sense? Because you know sometimes I'll be stuttering on my words and they don't sound right all the time. You know I almost use a chainsaw to put it on but you know if I did that I'd probably be dead. So I guess that was a good thing I didn't do that. So now I went into the shade Stark. 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 Does that sound right? Stark? Anyways. Ooh, what does that mean Stark? I have to google that word so anyhow so i apply that on the typer topper topper um high point of my eyebrow no below my eyebrow oh my god carlos slow down so i pretty much did that so i can soften up the look and kind of give a highlighted um, visual appearance so now i'm going in there with the brush and just blend that all in together to soften it all up and that so that there wasn't no break points and just pretty much meshed together yeah meshed together that's the right word so now i went ahead and also used that same color stark and i put it in the inner corners of my eyes look at that look at that glisten you see that glisten Ooh, i just look so pretty so yeah, so what I ended up doing, just put it right there and in the corner of my eyes. And then I also moved it upwards. You see, I was trying to get that glitter off my eyebrows. I mean, my cheeks, my cheeks. So now I went into the next shade, but nigget, but nigget. Yeah. And I pretty much just try to create, um, I went blank what I want to say. Anyways, that's nothing new. I try to create more of like a shadowed look underneath my eyes. But yeah, you get it, right? Simple. Finished the rest of the makeup look. Um, one other product that I did use, the other product that I did use from Laura Lee Cosmetics um, is the highlighter. And this actually is from the Glaze Lit Kit palette there are three again no four i'm sorry i did use this before in another prior video i'm going to be very careful because one of them is cracked but the shade that i use for the highlighter on the side is rose all day and the reason why we use that one is because of the eyeshadow that i use to create this eyeshadow look i want everything to be cohesive so i went ahead and did that so okay the highlighter i'm living for like these highlighters like if you guys don't have them you guys need to get them because mm, look at that you see that so i'm not sure why i've never used this particular palette before especially as long as i've had as long as i've had it but i do like the actual pigmentation is that a word the overall pigment that it has and the blendability i didn't have any issues whatsoever the only issue i did have was in j bird j bird is this particular shade the one that's more of a glitter it is creamy but unfortunately um there was a lot of fallout especially on my face so there was a lot of cleanup that i had to do to get rid of a lot of that glitter that's there so if you're going to use those particular shades ow, those particular shades, I would suggest doing your makeup, your eyeshadow makeup, whatever look first before doing the foundation because trust and believe you're going to have a lot of problems with it. Other than that, I am pleasantly surprised this 
for an indie brand uh, makeup palette, this is by all means like a really good go-to palette because I really do think that a lot of these shades are very neutral in the sense that they're universal, that they can use be used pretty much all year round. So I can see why this is a very popular palette. But anyways, but anyways, you guys, I really hope that you guys do, do enjoy this particular look. But until then, as always, make sure y'all brush your teeth, wash your culo, and subscribe. Until then, take care. Bye now. Oh yeah, remember, you can catch me on Christian Mingles and Farmers Only. <laughs> Bye. So in today's video, I'm going to give you a little bit of 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 a little